everyone. My name is Maria Lizagnoli. I am an anchor and reporter and I have been in the biz for like four years. Today, we're going to do an anchor makeup tutorial and uh, I must say I've, I've gotten pretty good at this look. I've quite perfected it since I really only have maybe 30 minutes to do my makeup. Hey, yeah. okay, good for you. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. So when I'm just reporting, I go for a lighter foundation. This one's my favorite. It's the L'Oreal Infallible. Cheap drugstore makeup. It just works really well. Good coverage, kind of dewy. When I'm anchoring, I definitely go more full coverage and I do the Born This Way foundation. It's matter and it's more full coverage. So when I uh, am under all the lights in the studio, it's not as much of a shine. And um, you know what I mean? All right, I do like two pumps. Just kind of have it bounce it around. <gasps> the show is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and I do it on Saturdays and Sundays. I get up at like four because I use like a half hour to lay in bed and look at my phone. Then I get up and pump. I get up and I uh, do my hair because I've realized if I don't do my hair at home, it won't get done because once I get to the station around six in the morning, I feel like it's just constant go, go, go. I'm, I'm like reviewing all the scripts, changing stuff. I, I go through the scripts at least twice and I say them out loud just so I know what it sounds like, you know? Then I go into the dressing room, do my makeup, and, and I usually only have like 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got the foundation down. And now, concealer. Just recently I discovered the ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. What? This stuff is so good. It's uh, definitely got too dark of a color for me, but that's okay because I got way too light of a color for me in this tart shape tape. I wake up early and I also get dark circles. I do a line here and a line here. And then I go kind of in my, the darkest circles in like the inner eye, you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> and then, because that's so light, the kind of orangier concealer in between. And that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Beauty Blender. <laughs> okay. And then the eyeball. You gotta make sure it's not like just stopping on your eyeball because I like to just make sure it goes all over my eyelid, over kind of my, my nose and eyebrow area, and then over my eyelid too, just so it all looks blended together. Cause I hate when it's like just solid white eyelid and then you can tell that mark between the concealer and the foundation. So you just kind of take whatever I have left and just kind of blend it over everything. And man, it has been dry out because winter is here. And so before I am starting my makeup, I always put moisturizer on, it really helps. Okay, now, when I am reporting and I'm like out in the field doing stuff on camera and I maybe hadn't done my makeup all day, I would always use a pressed powder because I'm not gonna mess with a loose powder in a car while I'm doing my makeup at a car. Not while I'm driving. Definitely parked. I do think loose powder just kind of sucks it in, you know? I don't know, just like keeps your makeup stuck on. So this is the Cody Airspun. Cody Airspun. I don't know what those are, like little pumpkins. Oh no, no, they're face puffs. This stuff smells like grandma. Like it smells like what your grandma might smell like. But it's good and it's cheap. Uh, and this will probably last me forever. So I use just a regular, I think this is a blush brush and it's e.l.f. Oh, it's a highlighting e.l.f. brush, but I dip it into the powder like this. So it's all coated. And then I kind of tap it into the, sometimes puff it on the puff. And so I just kind of press it in. Press, 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 press. Can't see your grandma? Put some of this on your face. Okay, then I make sure I do my eyelids to get some on your eyelids. And now I just kind of go everywhere. There we go. There we go. Okay. Butter bronzer, dude. Butter bronzer. You can tell I've done some damage. And this is quite honestly like the 10th one I've bought because I just, I just love it. I just love that it has like a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of a, it's just a light kind of wave of, of warmth. And what I love the most, it smells like a tropical vacation. So you go from grandma to grandma on the beach. It's quite wonderful. I start higher on my face. Like I used to start kind of down here. Now I start like at the top of my ear and I just start kind of blending it in. The majority of the product up here on my cheekbone, blending it down. 
I don't have fancy brushes, man. I, I bought an e.l.f. brush roll kit years ago and that's what I've been using and I love them. Can't forget the forehead. You gotta like round your whole face out, you know? Then, underneath the chin, underneath the gobbler, and then you on your neck. Then I take, so this is kind of a domed brush. I take the top of it and I like just kind of gently go into the bronzer. So it makes like, just like a little bit on the tip, not anything on the sides. I don't do any nose contour except for this. I just kind of boop, 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 boop. Just like straighten my nose out a little bit. Contour. You know, quarantine has been, <laughs> has been very stationary. So you can shave off some pounds by using makeup. So I use the darkest color, which is really daunting. Um, you just gotta be really light-handed. So I dip in, tap it off. I even like tap it on my hand just to like get some of the color off. I kind of like look straight forward and I just, you know, just kind of darken up this area so it looks like a shadow. So all that extra face is pushed back. You kind of go under your jawline. And it looks kind of funky, but you know what? Like when you're anchoring, you're pretty straightforward. If you want to take pictures, uh, this is a good trick. And then very lightly, very lightly on the cheekbones. Basically where I did the bronzer, but just a quick little. See, just that little. Subtle, hopefully. <laughs> Maria, you have like a brown stripe on your face. If that's the case, I take my bronzer brush again and I kind of just work it in. Work it in. Yay! Now, let's do our eyebrows. Uh, full of stuff. I just use a regular old brow pencil. This one's from ColourPop. You brush everything up, brush everything up. I don't do much with my brows. I just kind of fill in the tail first. And then I kind of just, I just kind of fill it in. I learned this trick from Kathleen Lights. So you do more pressure on the tail end of your brow. And then when you get to the front, seriously, like just Really light pressure and just kind of go up the whole brow. Super light pressure because you don't want that blocky brow, but like just kind of start from the bottom, go up. See the difference? That's all I do. I don't do much. Brush it out. Now for the fun part. Okay, eyeballs. So I use this I Love Basic Sephora palette, like 14 bucks, I believe. But it's like the perfect colors. You know, you've got the regular transition color, a little bit more of a crease color, like deepen it up. And then your like outer corner slash liner color. And then some pops of shimmer if you, if you so choose. So I start always with the brown. <clears throat> Let's get in here, okay. Ew, uh, ugh. Should I put lipstick on first? Yes. So I don't usually put lipstick on first, but like, for your all sake. House Laboratories liner and gloss. Oh, it's called Rip Lip Liner, R-I-P. Okay. In the color Rule. I like it. It's creamy. It glides on really well. The lippy gloss. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Up close. Up close and personal. I don't know. It's just like a little curved doe foot. Mmm. Matches my shirt. Kinda. Yeah, okay, now eyes. <laughs> Let's go back. I do kind of like an oval, oval shape. My, uh... I have small eyes and I know you should like drag it out more to make your eyes like lift, but I just feel like the oval shape looks better on me because I don't have like a lot of lid to show, you know? So I try to make my crease bigger than it is. So I just deposit the color. And again, I don't do any like crazy fancy eye looks for anchoring in the morning because I don't have time. I t eyes take a while, you know? Like 
Doing a fun, crazy eye look, that could take like 30 to 45 minutes. So I just slap on some brown. I might build it up more, but then we take that same color. This is a trick. You don't need a new brush. You just take your brush, pinch it so it's kind of like a fan. You put it under your eye and it just deposits like a more precise amount of that eyeshadow right at the lash line. And then you just take it regular and you kind of blend it out. Neat trick, right? If I have time, I will take another brush, it's a little smaller, a little denser, and go into that um, more cool toned brown color. Just adds a little bit more definition to this crease and I kind of just pack it on the outside. And then I go like a lower into the actual crease of my eyeball. So I use just a little angled brush and this darkest color. Again, e.l.f. Look how ratty and like old this is. It's like peeling off. I've had to glue the head back on. You do what you can do. I honestly do look down into a mirror and I just press the color into the outer part first, just on the lash line. Bring it all the way across. It just makes your eyelashes look fuller. You know, it just makes the whole lash line look fuller. See, it's just like a fake eyeliner with eyeshadow. I've always had like nightmares about it. Like doing it and coming off and all my lashes are on it. Oh, her eyelashes were cut off. Her eyelashes were curled. Have you seen that TikTok? Her nose was cut off. Her eyeballs were plucked out. Her eyebrows were then waxed. This is my favorite mascara, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It never fails. This is what I do. Look at it. I bump my freaking mascara on my eyeball. I don't know, and it's always this eye. It's, it must be the way I'm doing it. I'll tell you my trick how to fix that. Now I kind of let my top lashes dry. You just saw a ghost. You stretch it out. I love it. You kind of stick your tongue out too. Let's do blush while we wait for that mascara to dry on our face. This blush, which is a shimmery blush, and I actually really do like it. Just kind of around. Because it's shimmery, I like to kind of put it where I highlight. And so I start higher and just kind of swirl it around, light pressure, and then you bring it down onto your cheeks. <laughs> you did a little face, you know? <laughs> just to make sure you have it right. I don't use a highlighter on air because with the studio lights, it really just does kind of look like a stripe on your face. No matter what highlighter you use, like high end, whatever, and then you turn and it's kind of a cast or it's like a stripe of just shimmer and it, it just doesn't look the best. So that's why I opt for this more shimmery blush so it's kind of all over glow. We need to take the spoolie from our eyebrow pencil. On the places where we bumped our skin, we just gently, like over here, I kind of just scrape it away as best as I can. And then I take my blending brush and I just kind of blend it out. And that's that. I, uh, I'll show some clips, images of this makeup in action on the desk. You'll see that I always curl my hair when I anchor. Maybe I'll do a hair tutorial because I really think I've mastered the anchor hair. Uh, let me know if that is what you want. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see me in action, actually anchoring and reporting for the local news, follow my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe, because I'm, I'm willing to do more of this. I'm excited about it. And uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a happy holidays.